All right, welcome to the moon. Now on the moon, I think probably, I don't know, the two hardest things to get, although I can't really say they're particularly difficult, uh, asteroid shards, which fly by, you have to get them, I think, three times, and then they blow up and you get your asteroid shards. And cheese, see, there he goes, and I missed him. Um, now cheese, cheese can be a little tricky because uh, cheese is pretty rare. But um, the other uh, other things you can get, of course, moon rock, aluminum, diorite, alien ooze, uh, as well as cheese with a lunar meteorite. So we're going to go and check and see what kind of pickaxes we get. Asteroid. Now this one here is cool because it'll actually call up those asteroids that are so hard to get and uh, it just sends a million of them then if you have a snowball you can uh, take out you know half a dozen of them or so with one whack which is awful convenient and then you also have the other pickaxe you have is the alien pickaxe I don't remember but I think I may have gotten this from a chest but I don't remember but uh, you can buy the other two pickaxes in the store so basically you have your moon rock Asteroid and this one again, its special ability is sending asteroids at you, and that makes collecting asteroids really easy. And then your alien pickaxe, which kind of spreads ooze all over the place. Incidentally, this ooze that the alien pickaxe um, emanates, I guess, has nothing to do with the bucket or, or getting new blocks or anything like that. Ooh, can I get them? Can I get them? Nah, and I missed. And uh, <laughs> I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what to expect. Ooh, ooh, I'm going to show you the special ability of this one because it seems that I have charged it while talking, which is totally awesome. Ba-boom. And you see all the asteroids flying by? Ba-ba-ba-boom. One hit with the... Uh, one hit with a snowball obliterated a good deal of them. So that's kind of the easiest way to get through that. As far as getting to cheese and to struggle with cheese is real. And I totally feel your pain. Um, what I'll use is like Yogg's Tentacle. And uh, of course that brings tons and tons of blocks from all kinds of different biomes. But I usually get at least two or three chunks of cheese every time I use it. You know, and I haven't upgraded it very well, so I cheat. And I'll do like a dynamite, then refresh the dynamite, and then dynamite again. And that usually activates a special ability. And then I pound away, pound away, pound away, and get some cheese. So uh, the struggle with cheese is real. I totally feel your pain. Uh, if you don't feel like clicking and hoping that you get cheese so you can pass the biome, what I would do is... Um, uh, have something gently press your screen or or put something on your mouse and just let it auto click because if you hold your mouse down it's going to auto click faster you know what i'm saying so that's kind of a good way to cheat and by morning you'll have plenty of cheese so <laughs> i've done that a few times too so anyway that is the moon so i think it's the moon am i in the moon Sure, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any wisdom or insight, um, let me know in the comment section below. It'd be nice to hear what you have to say. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'm out.